in this media we are going to discuss about self contained breathing apparatus okay so uh, it becomes very clear and it becomes very important to know because it is often asked by surveyor and especially few surveyor from mumbai and noida they ask you this question okay and for other mmds as well ki what are the operational checks that you do before donning an scba we have already covered scba evd its requirement and all okay please do watch those videos now so when we talk about operational checks then it is like carry out a thorough visual examination of scba its connection and the component so it's a visual exam examination always we do for any machinery or any equipment gradually open the cylinder valve and read the pressure in the gauge so we gradually open and read the read it in the gauge ki whatever what the pressure is showing there close the cylinder valve and observe the pressure gauge then we close the valve and though this is like a uh, that you are seeing there if there is no pressure drop is there okay so this check you are doing it here the drop in the pressure should not be more than 10 bar in 1 minute okay release the air by passing the demand valve to check the operation of the whistle so as you all know that there is a whistle sound so when this whistle sound we have 10 minutes to escape uh, from 40 to 50 bar this whistle sound so we have uh, 10 minutes to escape so it's a alarm that you are supposed to now escape from that place the whistle should not at the indicated pressure on the cylinder gauge uh, the whistle should sound at the carry out mask leakage test to check that there is no leakage in the mask so we do leak test for the mask and how we do that down the apparatus completely and breathe normally close the valve of the cylinder and breathe until all the air within the system is exhausted once this is done the mask will automatically pull onto the face this will not happen if there are leaks within the mask readjust and repeat the test so that the mask automatically pull onto your face now check for proper operation of the demand valve and the exhalation valve for this open the cylinder valve fully and breathe deeply hold the breathe and check if there are any audible leaks within the system continue to breathe normally and check if air flows through the exhalation valve check the operation of supplementary valve okay so these are the checks that we do okay these are self explanatory thing you can pause and then you can note down make a note of all those things now we move and we see ki what are their uh, stuffs which are there like what all maintenance shipboard maintenance so this in table you can see so complete equipment clean and uh, disinfect as necessary after use yes we do after use we do two things clean and disinfect as necessary and then cylinder charge to correct pressure and charge pressure okay so this we do these two things every month what all we do we do visual inspection functional and leak test we do and then we do charge pressure check okay now yearly what we all are supposed to do is for the pressure reducer we do medium pressure check okay replaced sintered filter or there is a filter that we are supposed to replace replace hp connector o ring so this this is very important this o ring uh, okay now when we do cleaning and disinfecting what we do carefully clean disinfect and thoroughly dry contaminated dirt components after use or when necessary this in the main will be the mask itself and wipex clothes or safety wash should be used for this it is important that inhalation valve discs are cleaned so this is very important aspect routine test procedure cylinder pressure check high pressure leak test full flow test whistle warning unit test we have all have discussed all these in the pre uh, previous slide medium pressure test that is pressure reducer cylinder pressure check require high pre uh, pressure test gauge we need to do check test date stamped on the cylinder if test date cylinder should not be used connect high pressure test gauge to cylinder and then open cylinder 
how do we do pressure test cylinder valve if pressure less than 80 percent of maximum working pressure then cylinder requires charging okay high pressure leak test if equipment has a quick release coupling on medium pressure hose attach demand valve to coupling press reset lever on demand valve to switch off positive pressure open cylinder valve slowly but fully to pressurize the system check reading on pressure gauge note if immediate leak on demand valve press center of rubber cover to release pressure and then reset if will not reset then balanced piston unit require replacement close cylinder valve and observe pressure gauge indicated pressure should not drop more than 10 bar in one minute if integrity of equipment has been broken that is hose or gauge charge then indicated pressure should not drop more than 5 bar in 2 minutes if equipment does not confirm to these parameters then investigate source of leak rectify and repeat test do not carry out any other test until leak rectified now we do full flow test during the test do not direct airflow onto the face eyes or skin because these are very pressurized thing it can cause an accident pressurized pneumatic system press center of rubber cover on demand valve to activate positive pressure an unobstructed airflow should vent to atmosphere from demand valve outlet this test should take a minimum of three to five seconds switch off airflow reset lever on demand valve when we talk about visual warning this should automatically activate at a pressure of 55 bar plus minus 5 bar it can be 50 or it can be 55 it should emit a continuous audible signal down to a pressure of 10 bar with system pressurized but cylinder closed cover demand valve outlet with palm of the hand press center of the rubber cover on demand valve to release positive pressure slowly lift palm of the hand to slowly release pressure and note pressure at which whistle begins to sound if whistle require readjustment loosen lock nut and to increase pressure at which whistle activates turn adjusting nut clockwise so you can adjust this way to decrease pressure at which the whistle activates turn adjusting nut anti clockwise tighten lock nut and ensure tube flute outlet is facing high pressure hose so this is very important tighten the lock nut ensure tube flute facing the high pressure hose medium pressure test that is pressure reducer require medium pressure gauge the pressure reducer outlet pressure should be within 6 to 9 bar okay so these are the different different things so you need to like remember all those things you need to mug up so that you can tell to the surveyor okay i hope it is clear for you thank you so much